Story is the Jets get themselves a head coach, Robert Sala, uh, the former defensive coordinator for the last four years for the San Francisco 49ers. And we had Mike Tannenbaum on earlier and loves it. Dan Orlovsky said the Jets hit a home run. Everybody that you read that's anybody in football thinks the Jets did a really good job. This guy's 41 years old, highly respected, great defensive coach. Seems like he has a great personality. Players love him. Richard Sherman, after the uh, the Jets announced it, uh, tweeted out the Jets just made a great hire. He raves about Robert Sala. And Robert Sala is kind of off the, um, you know, you mentioned this the other day, Don, he's kind of off the Pete Carroll tree. And he was an assistant under Pete for a long time, so he's got the same characteristics. This is the first coach the Jets have hired like this since Carroll. Because nobody knew that Rex was going to be like what Rex was. But uh, in terms of a sideline presence, Pete's always chewing gum, going up and down the sideline, clapping. That's, I think, what Salah's going to be. Rex wasn't really like that on the sidelines. No. He was more special off uh, off the field. Uh, in terms of being great with the media, but we'll see. But, again, as Don said, we don't know if it's a home run, but we know that the Jets hit the ball well. (laughs) Whether it clears the wall or not, well, the record will tell. Well, it's a respected hire by an organization that, quite frankly, isn't really overly respected. You heard Mike Tannenbaum say you want to make this a destination for free agents. You only want to do that when you're not a destination for free agents, when you're a team that hasn't won in over 50 years. You're a team that went 2-14 and this past season, Okay. And it's not enough to have salary cap space. It's not enough to have the second overall pick in the draft. It's got to be an organization that makes the right decisions. And over the last few years, I mean, let's face it, the Johnson situation with Woody out in the U.K., you know, Chris being a newbie and not making the greatest of decisions, they've been kind of a laughing stock. Now you go out and you get a guy that was coveted, a guy that's respected around the National Football League. And people go, all right, that, that's a good hire. Well, that's going to help their reputation. And that's what this team has to do. They've got to try to change the culture and win. They've also got to make, start making the right decisions. And I think the biggest reason why this is respected around the league is because it was a decision that was made primarily by their football guy, Joe Douglas. This wasn't Peyton Manning whispering in Chris Johnson's ear. This wasn't the Johnsons hiring Casserly and Wolf. This was a football team letting their football guy go out there and get the best coach available. And that's going to help get some pelts that they can walk around and feel like that they're moving in the right direction. Now, realistically, for you guys, how long has he been a desirable head coaching candidate? This Probably season? last two years. Yeah, last two years. Was, what was he in the Super Bowl? Was that last year? It's all blending yeah. in, yeah. And, yeah, and a- you know, he held down a pretty good offense until the last, the last quarter. Yeah, and then did a lot this year with a team that was diminished. And and his biggest problem for probably getting hired last year is because he's a defensive coordinator, and everybody's high on offensive guys. 